Today is Tuesday, March 31st, and we are going to be studying the vowel digraph EA this week. And remember, a digraph is when two letters come together and make one sound. So some examples are CH says CH, CH says SH, TH says TH. All of those are digraphs because they are two letters that come together and make one totally new sound. So EA is our digraph this week, and they are two vowels that sound like short E or long E. And so it's gonna be kind of your job to kind of remember when it says long E and when it says short E. Remember we have our vowel team song, when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. It makes the sound that says its name, the other one goes to sleep. Good night. So here, that follows the rule. P each peach. The A's pretends it's not even there. Same with leaf. O e f leaf. Peach and leaf both have E A that sounds like long E. But this E A is tricky because instead of making the sound that says its name, it will also make the E eh sound, the short E sound like bread, bread. It still doesn't sound like that A is in there. So either way, the A is kind of sleeping. She's not gonna make her sound. <sighs> Ed, head. Okay, so here it's making that short E sound, eh. Over here, it's making that long E sound, E. And we are going to have a lot of different um, spelling words. Um, but I believe all of our spelling words have the long E sound. So if I have E-A, it can say long E, E, or short E, E. So if it says long E, it could be like E, ch, each. I can also turn that into teach, like what I'm doing right now. I can change this into reach or beach, okay? So those are all words with that long E sound, okay? I also could have b e d, b e d, blend them together, bead, like I'm going to bead a necklace, r e d, Read. I hope you all read today. Okay. Lead. O e d. Lead. We can blend them together. Those are all examples, more examples of a long e. You could also have eat. It can be in the beginning of the word or in the middle of the word. Um, I also have words like we just talked about. Head makes the eh sound. Ed, head. Okay, or the other word we just saw, b, bread, bread. Now we can get really tricky because depending on the sentence, this word can be read or read. I read a book yesterday or I will read a book tonight. Okay, but either way, that. E is making the long E sound or the short E sound. This is our spelling list here. I'll move by. This is our spelling list this week. And all of these words, we're going to make it a little bit more simple for you with our spelling list. All of these words have EA that sounds like E. They all make the long E sound. What sound do they make? Long E. That's right. So, the first word is eat, 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 see, s, e, see, each, t, eem, team, please, please. That one might get a little tricky because don't forget that there's that silent e at the end. We have our consonant blend d r d r e m dream, consonant blend t r t eat treat. B, each, beach, 
clean, clean, and lean, lean. What I want you to do today is I want you to make a list of these spelling words. You can be on paper, marker, colors, do whatever you want to make and spell a list of these words so that you can study them this week and remember our spelling pattern, which is E-A. All of these have E-A. And remember that these words make the long E sound, but that E-A can also make the short E sound, like head, bread. All right, so vowel digraph, E-A. You could, for our spelling list, remember our song, when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. It makes the sound that says its name, the other one goes to sleep. Good night. And I want you to practice reading those words. Maybe send me some words that you find with E-A. All right, see you tomorrow.